Welcome to another video from Guilao 60. We are in Pamelo land. Oh, Wei Feng uh, Liao and her. Ten yen for two pomelos. Yes. So a buck each. And uh, what's a pomelo, you might ask? Well, the the closest I can I can say is, is that. A pomelo is halfway between a grapefruit and an orange. And these are good. These are really good. Uh, and uh, we are in, as I say, uh, Yongxian area of uh, Guangxi Autonomous Region. And this is the middle of pomelo land. This place is famous for the pomelos because they are so good and so sweet. Hey. Show, show, show people how you eat this, oh. Everybody know it. Canada have a pomelo too. Oh, you know, I never ate a pomelo until I came to China. I didn't even know what they were. They got a whole bunch of seeds in them. You don't eat the seeds. Are pomelos fattening? No, just food. Yeah, just like that. And then you just eat it like that? Hmm. Really good, eh? Mm. How duck. Mm. So, what we're gonna do after we're done eating this pomelo is we're gonna head into the bush or into that pomelo. Is it a pomelo orchard? I guess so. A pomelo orchard, and we're going to actually pick some pomelos to take home with us. Oh, yeah, it's pomelo picking time. Not bad. You must have been to the yos of those Lunko Mai Man, the Lunjin Mai. I could never understand how these people here, they, they're all at the same place selling the same thing and uh, this happens every year so they obviously are making money at it. I, I just don't get it. Do you think that if uh, there's a hundred people selling the same thing at, at the same spot, uh, nobody would make any money. But hey, this is Pomelo land. Wow! I know, look at, I'm gonna turn the camera around, you gotta see this, guys. So Wei Fong, what are you doing? Do you see it's a very big Pomelo? It's a Beautiful. It's bigger than your head. Pretty much, eh? <laughs> Wei Fong, do you know anybody else that has a set of pomelos that big? Well, <laughs> 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 it's a bad. Very bad. Yes, I know. <laughs> she uh, three, th three, took her three seconds to answer that one. <laughs> Are we are we live streaming? Uh, Can't see. Hi. Two. One, two, three. Double, 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 double. I don't see. Photo walks all over the place. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. We get this all the time, guys. So, so Wei Feng, what do you got there? Skin candy. Pomelos, they make. Pomelo. They uh, make ca skin. candy out of the pomelo skin. Yes. So yes. they don't waste. They don't just eat the inside. Yeah, we uh, actually we 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 eat the uh, outside the pomelo skin also. Uh, sometimes I cook like um, at home, and I burn the outside the yellow skin out. You know, and then I use knife to peel the peel the, the skin off the black thing because you burn them, right? And then you per, take off, and then you cut, and then you use the black bean, hot pepper, oil, uh, actually fat pork, and stir fry with. Beautiful, amazing. Is that your best Donald Trump uh, impression? <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is like the height of the pomelo season in uh, southern China. Yeah. And uh, this will go on for how long? Uh, to uh, Chinese New Year. Oh, all the way to Chinese New Year, so into January. Yes. Okay, and it's, and it's November now, so, so they'll be harvesting pomelos for the next two months. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, but they all can uh, stay for a long time. That's why in Canada we can see uh, uh, in the supermarket they have a superstore, they have a... Uh, Canelo, but they're not as good as here. Because these these things are fresh. Like I noticed, I noticed the oranges in China. When you get an orange and you open it up, it smells so good, like a Christmas orange, a, a mandarin orange. Uh, and uh, in Canada, they sort of half taste like they're already rotten. But here, it's like, wow. So it's uh, it's nice to be living in a place where everything, all of the fruit, is super, super fresh. Get it right off the tree. Like, here, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you where they get the pomelos from. And one of the first things I notice is that each one of these has an irrigation system set up for each tree. So they, uh, they take care of them, they irrigate them. They must need a lot of water. They're, they're, but, but look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you underneath the tree. Check this out. Seriously guys, it's uh, November 6th, it's 30 degrees outside, hotter than a $5 pistol, and uh, I'm in my first pomelo uh, orchard I've basically ever been in in my life. I've never seen a pomelo tree before, like seriously. Well, yeah, I know, it's, it's strange being a person that lives in Guangxi and never seen a pomelo tree. Like, they're just, they're just, they're hanging everywhere. And they, I think they sell this stuff by the pound in, in uh, big stores. So each one of these is a pound or two. Like some of them are heavy, heavy, and then some of them aren't so heavy. It's weird. And one of the cool things, because going up and down a mountain with big bags of pomelos is, is virtually impossible. So they actually use this little train they go up, that carries them up, and then they, they bring big bags of pomelos down by this little unit here. So it makes the job so much easier. I never knew any of this stuff. This is all brand new to me. Yeah. <laughs> See, and then they weigh it so they know how much came off. And that, and that little old lady is probably stronger than most people, hey? Because that's that's got to be hundred pound bags. <laughs> and you don't think these guys are strong? Mm -hmm. That's heavy, heavy stuff. I'm going to actually pick a pomelo. Wow. Oh, there's how, water in it. How fresh is that? Wow, look at that. Okay, now. Let's open this puppy up. We need a knife. That's why. Unless you're. Oh, yeah, your clothes are all dirty. Mm. Careful. Careful. See how the juice? Look at the juice. Yes. And it's hard to get. The skin off. The skin doesn't want to come off. That's because it's so fresh. And uh, I'm, keep, I'm keeping the skin to clean my hands afterwards. But uh, I'll get this. Did I mention it's 30 degrees outside? So it's, it's, it's like hot. And this is work. Oh, oh yeah. Get in there. It's hard work getting into these things. Uh, there you go. So, and after you, after you get to the center of it. Oh, and this is uh, Pomelo King Mountain. This is the the best pomelos in all of China. Come off this mountain here. Seriously, I, I wouldn't lie to you. This is the stuff. Oh yeah, and as I say, it's halfway between an orange and a grapefruit. It's sweet. It's got substance. It's 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 not just all uh, all juice. It's actually got pulp there too. 
and it's really good. And it also creates a lot of employment for the people in Yongxian area of, uh, of Guangxi Autonomous Region, which is a rural area, and rural areas in Guangxi are predominantly poor. So if any employment is good employment, boy, this stuff is good. So next time you see a pomelo in your local grocery store, go over and buy it. You won't be able to buy them for a dollar a piece. I guarantee you that. But chances are that pomelo came from this mountain in Guangxi Autonomous Region, China. And that's another video from Weifang Liao and, and Guilao 60. And Guilao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to resubscribe. Hit the bell, hit the like button, and whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. Yes. You should have known that. I know that, but you, you, you too quick. I'm too quick. <laughs> and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye now.